from Balloon Utopia and Market with Balloons. And today we're going to make a giant candy cane. Now, we have here a, uh, a lamp base. So this is great for outdoor, for indoors, but remember if you're going to do it outdoors, you want to go find my video on how to make the, um, the balloon column frame and make those two by two bases out of wood. You really want a wider footprint. But for indoors, this will be just fine. Okay, so the first thing that we're doing is we're going to take some aluminum rod and really important <laughs> is the very first thing that you want to do with your aluminum rod is you want to cover up your ends with some tape so that you don't cut yourself or somebody else with the edges, the sharp edges. So we're just going to kind of put it on a diagonal and bring it down. This will be covered up by balloons, so if it's not perfect, it doesn't matter. The important thing is that it's not sharp. Okay, we're going to come and we're going to do the other end here too. Now, normally I would also actually just take the entire frame and cover the whole frame in black tape so that nothing will show through, um, but so that you guys could see the process and what I'm using, we're not doing that. Now, I know the next question you guys are going to be asking me is, where do I get aluminum rod? So first of all, the aluminum rod that I'm using right here, this is, uh, I believe this is quarter inch thickness, and you get it from an industrial metal supply store. So you're just going to have to look for a metal supply place in your area and just ask them about the aluminum rod. Um, aluminum is a commodity, so the price is always different. It's always changing. All right, so basically all we're going to do is we're going to tape it to the pole. Um, hey. Rod, would you be my assistant and hold this for a sec? So we have the awesome Rod from RKVC here. I'm not going to make him sing while he does this, but he they are an amazing band. So you guys should go check out their channel, and they're super helpful as well. So, in fact, Vince, Vince his partner there, is on camera. <laughs> so you see everybody's pitching in. All right, so we're just going to tape this down in a few places, just like so. Okay, perfect, thank you. Good job. All right, and so now what we want to do is you just kind of want to give it a gentle bend because it's a candy cane. And it's better, <laughs> it's better if you don't make it kinky like I just did. Um, but, you know, it's a little bit, it's a little bit forgiving. Okay, so now that we have our basic shape, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna start loading it from the bottom and creating our spiral. This now, from here on out, it's basically like any other sculpture. And it's really late at night, so I probably could have taken my time and made that a nicer curve but we're just going to leave it as it is. You guys get the idea and um, we'll make it perfect later. Okay, so as always, we are starting with our duplets. Wow, I twisted these really good. Really well, I twisted them really well. Anyways, two duplets tied together, two balloons tied together is a duplet, two duplets twisted together is a quad. So we are going to twist our quad onto the pole. You know what? Instead of doing a fast spiral, I'm thinking let's do a slow spiral. What do you guys think? A slow spiral is where you have both colors kind of going together. Instead of red, white, red, white, you have red, white. So I think, I think just for fun, we'll do a slow spiral on it. Okay, so looks like they want to spiral that way and show that is the way we are going to spiral. So you see, we're just going to kind of continue our pattern up, and if you wanted to make a fast spiral like candy canes are normally, then you would just alternate your red and white, red and white. But I think just for fun, because I haven't done this pattern in a while, I want to do it this way. I feel like I do the same things over and over and over, you know? Okay, 
And um, Rod, if you wouldn't mind, make this faster, just hand me quads. Thank you. And we'll actually speed it up here, so. see that slow spiral um, taking shape. Kind of fun, a little bit different. You know, less barbershop, more North Pole, I don't know. Okay, so now we're on the straight aluminum. You're, it's, it's a little bit harder because it's thinner wire now. So it's, it, it moves around a little bit more when you try to put it on. And I'm actually gonna bring this down onto the ground because I'm too short and too accident prone to do it otherwise. <laughs> I'm gonna hook myself here. All right. Now this is where it gets tricky. Sometimes when you go into a curve, you kind of have to cheat by putting a duplet there um, and then doing your next quad. Because sometimes otherwise, it's, it's just gonna kind of gap and look weird. So sometimes you kind of got to do it uh, at that point as duplets and then you'll start going into quads again. last one it's a little bit tricky sometimes what we do is we'll just tie a single one in there um, and in fact I think that's what we're gonna do we're not gonna be able to fit another quad there so we'll just kind of finish it off with the fifth balloon here cane and I would actually um, make this a little bit of a better curve and play with it a little bit more uh, to get a nicer curve to it um, it's not really round enough here but you guys get the idea and that's what we were going for but no it's pissing me off <laughs> and the moral of the story is don't try to bend balloons over your head where you can't reach them. Is that better? So, here we go. It should be red, but that's all right. So, here we go, and there is our really fun candy cane. Now, if you like this, and I know you do, Make sure that you hit the like button. Make sure that you subscribe to my channel. I put out a video every single week. You never know what's gonna be coming. Make sure that you leave me a comment. You tell me what else you wanna learn since I'm making a video every week and you never know what's coming. And uh, yeah, tell all your friends to subscribe. And until next time, go forth and balloonify.